Good morning, it's Midwest Radio, it's 8.31. Let's catch up with the latest news headlines. Here's Greg. It's the big day for hundreds of thousands of college and sixth form students across the country today. A and AS level results are in. Those that don't get into university or prefer not to have the debt are being encouraged to look into other options like apprenticeships. British gas charges go up by 18% from today. Other gas and electricity supplies are expected to follow suit. When quarterly bills start coming in, households are expected to rein in their spending Ending when they see how much they owe. A council run under 18's disco for bored teenagers, which has been a great success in Yeovil, has flopped in chard. The Club Zero Night, which has a zero tolerance door policy for alcohol, attracted only five people at Chard Rugby Club last week. And buyers have been found for a much loved pub in Shaftesbury. The Fountain Inn in Enmore Green was closed by the chain that owned it, Punch Taverns, earlier this year. Those are the headlines. More news at nine o'clock. And they're already doing the garden. Yes, we hear that. <laughs> we hear that. Pulling the brambles off the climbing frame and seesaw. Well done. <laughs> Dusting off the outside furniture. Well done. We I'm like sure that. I've got a late birthday. Furniture. Is that oh, all right? On, yeah, go on. Uh, happy birthday to Christian, who uh, is living at High Ham, lives at High Ham near Langport. And I've had an email in to say happy birthday, Christian. Christian is apparently the noisiest but most loved American in Somerset. Did you know we had an American in the no, county? No, I didn't. I, do, he, I do actually know of Chris, and I must say he is quite noisy. Is he? If you strapped him to Portland Lighthouse, you'd get a complaint <laughs> from the French. <laughs> Mind you, the French would complain about anything. That is very, very true. But there you go. Happy birthday, Christian. We're known to the French. You, you know we call them frogs. I know you're going to say. We're known as roast beef. That's right, le roast beef. Le, le roast beef. Uh, when, I lived in, when I lived in Camden, I had German housemates. Ah. Used to wake them up actung, with, actung. Used, used to wake them up with an air raid siren every morning. <laughs> and uh, my German housemates said that we are known in their part of Germany right. as island monkeys. Ooh, 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 so there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The funky gibbon. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't, I knew they had names for us, and obviously I told them we had several names <laughs> for, for them. We, we won't go into that. But it was a harmonious household. We all got on absolutely. very well. Absolutely. Entente cordiale. Well, that, that would have been French housemates. Yes, it but would have. Yes. Um, it, what are we doing? Um, well, I don't know. What are we doing? It's uh, yesterday's fault.